All right, fam. So we are back again. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. Oh boy. I ain't gonna lie. I'm getting a little. I was a little righteously angry when I seen this video. Okay. It just did something to my spirit. But uh, we have a video from Tasha K. Tasha K. <laughs> I don't really watch her like that. Okay. But apparently she wants to go ahead and. Um, test or this is another word i'm looking for but i can't think of it right now but basically she wanted to go ahead and um test whoa vicky's faith you know what i'm saying seeing does whoa vicky really believe in jesus christ for real which i don't i don't think is nothing wrong with you know testing someone's faith and seeing you know what i'm saying getting some questions answered that you have about their faith i don't think nothing wrong with that but there's some things Tasha K said that I just disagree with a hundred percent. Everything that she said, I disagree with a hundred percent. Anyways, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. And without further ado, let's get into it. What if I told you you are God? Oh, no, nah, I'm not. Why? I'm just not God. Why are you not God? Do you not think you're worthy? Oh, I am worthy, but I'm not God. But what if I truly told you that there is research to back up that you are God? I'm not God. So you don't, you don't believe that you have the power to move your life the way that you want it moved? Yeah, by following it. God, by following God, I do. But you move. But it. I'm not God because when 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 we when when we all die. And he and he telling us, um, giving us judgment. I'm not God. I'm not about to judge you, judge you, judge you. I'm not God. I can't. I don't judge. Can't. I'm not the one that's gonna say, "Yeah, come up here or go down there." I'm not God. So you believe in heaven and hell outside? I told you I believe everything that's in the Bible. Okay. But you also said you didn't read the Bible. I didn't read all of it, but okay. I study it. Okay. All right. All right, Winos, if you enjoy all right. That's the first clip. I want to... Uh, should I show y'all the second clip right now or should I just start talking? I'm going to show y'all the sec... Bro, I got so much to say. Okay, I'm going to just show y'all the second clip, okay? Because it's not that long. Well, I know this too. Sometimes, you know, the church... And by the way, don't mind that you see the little light. Yeah, I liked it because I wanted to... I could just put it in my saves, but the like button was the quickest. I, I just want y'all to know that, okay? Anyways... I'm going to dislike it, actually. No, nah, I didn't keep it light. Justin Bieber went through it. Mm -hmm. A lot of people go through it, especially celebrities. In their journeys, and I, I, I noticed that, you know, it's it's like they come in and they try to brainwash. Who? People like yourself, like me. What, the church? Yeah. Oh, no, nah, I don't agree with that. You don't? No. Nah. Why is that? I believe in the Bible. Okay. So anything the Bible says, I agree with it. Okay. The Bible is God's word. Have you Amen. read the entire Bible yet? Nah, not the entire Bible. Okay. Yeah. So you know there's a lot of strong contradictions in the Bible. I'm not here to challenge your faith. Like what? Your, your faith is your spiritual... Mm -hmm. is your challenge. That's the word I was looking for. Challenge. Okay. Anyways. Spiritual relationship with God. But you know, a book is another thing. Mm -hmm. Being that you are so young and you have your entire life ahead of you, mm -hmm. I just, you know, hearing you talk about God so much, mm -hmm. It's coming across as if you are using it as a protection. Nah, I mean, this is me. Okay. What do I need to be protected from? I mean, the devil. Yeah. But you do know physically the, you know, uh, you know they talk about a lot of things in the spirit realm, but you know the devil is you, and the devil in God is you. You do know that, right? Nah. Yeah. Because in order to know good, you have to know bad. So you have to do bad things and make mistakes in order to learn. Oh, Otherwise, yeah. that's not. I know so, that we was all born into sin. I, I wouldn't call it sin. I would. Why? Because um, that's what it's saying in the Bible, and that's what Adam and Eve did. All right. Oh, boy, I got a lot to say. I have a lot to say, man. Shout out to you. you are God. I want to say this. Everybody's on their own different walk with Christ. And Woe Vicky, she stood up for the word. You know what I'm saying? She may not know 
everything. She may not have the right things to say right then and there because I'm pretty sure she didn't know she was going to get challenged on her faith. But one thing as believers is we all need to just continue to study the word, continue to read more on the word so that way we can stand up for what we truly believe because this is the one... I don't want to say religion because it's not a religion, but according to the world, it's a religion. So let me just say, just for the sake of the conversation or whatever, according to the world's viewpoint of it, this religion is the one that is attacked a lot, okay? Because a lot of Christians cannot back up exactly what these people are asking us. And I'm not going to lie. Do I know everything? No, I do not. I don't know everything. So I'm not even go. I'm not even bashing well, Vicky, for not knowing certain things, I'm not even bashing her because I don't know everything, but she definitely stood her ground. And she said, look, the Bible say this. I believe in the Bible. I believe what the Bible say, which is true. We all need to believe what the Bible say, because the Bible is the word of God. Like she said, that's that's facts. But Tasha K, sweetheart, you said we are God. Fam, if we was gods, OK, I promise you, my life will be like, my life is at peace because I have God. When I did not have God, oh man, my life was broke. I didn't even know, but I was going through so much without having God in my life. If I was a God myself, certain things I just wouldn't allow to happen to me. Certain relationships, I wouldn't like, bro, no, instantly, they gone, they out of here. Like certain things, it just would not happen if I was a God. If I was a God, I would be powerful. I would be so powerful. I'm not that powerful. I'm not that powerful. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I'm not. The power that I have, that the, the power of healing the sick, the power of casting out demons, that all comes from the Holy Spirit. That's never me. That's never me doing these things on my own. Because if I did not have the Holy Spirit, I would not be able to lay hands on the sick and they heal. I would not be able to do the things that the Bible tells me that I can do. But guess what? I have to have faith in the Holy Spirit. Those are two things I have to have. I'm never a God. We're not gods. None of us are gods. You talk about can't you make, uh, can't you uh, manifest what you want in your life. And that is exactly why people commit. You feel me? That's why they end themselves. Th that's exactly why people are not happy in their life. No, no, forget happy. Happy is just a temporary feeling. People are not having joy in their life because they're working their butts off so much to maintain a life that is just, it's not fulfilling you. You can get so much on this earth, but it doesn't fulfill you. It doesn't fulfill you at all. And then you wonder why people are doing the things that they're doing, why so many celebrities have all this money, but then you find out that, dang, they was depressed. Dang, they want to end themselves. Dang, they want to do this. It's because they don't have peace. Tasha K, I guarantee, because you don't know God, because you don't have the Holy Spirit, I guarantee you lose everything you have now. You lose all this business. You lose all your money. You lose your man. You lose your kids. You lose all this like Job lost everything. I guarantee you gonna be, you, you're going to be sick. Because that everything you have right now is your peace. Everything you have is your peace. That's how you could that's how that's what you consider a peace. That's what you consider to be happy. You having a life filled with money, cars, clothes, business, wine drinks. You having a life filled with all this, all this stuff that doesn't matter at the end of this life. You you're filled with all this, but again, you lose all that, you're gonna be down bad. You're going to be so hurt, so depressed, because guess what? You never had God, so all that stuff don't matter. Everything you have, Tasha K, is meaningless. When you die, guess what is going to happen to it? It's going to get passed on to the next person. Guess what's going to happen to that? They may not take care of it, so guess what's going to happen? It, it'll get passed on to this person. Like All your, all the stuff that you work for, and this is all in Ecclesiastes. Uh, I think that's how you say it. I cannot say that word. I cannot say that book right. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. I mean, y'all, if you're a saved person, you know what I'm trying to say. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 is all in there. It's all in about how worthless everything is. When we die, everything get passed on to the next person that didn't deserve it. When we die, guess what? If we don't have no will or no wish, whatever you want to call it, our money goes to the bank. The bank take it. The government take it. They take everything, okay? It's like it's all pointless. So, no, I'm not a God. But you know what I do need? A savior. I do need God. That's what I do need because I can have everything in the, everyone in life and not have peace. You're, nobody knows what peace is because if you knew what peace is, you wouldn't keep trying to find peace. You see what I'm saying? People find people try to find peace in drugs, sex, alcohol, all these different things. That's they're trying to continue to seek peace. But none of this stuff brings peace. None of this stuff brings true joy. None of it does. It brings temporary happiness and it brings temporary peace. But everlasting peace, it doesn't bring. 
if I lose my house right now, if I lose my car, if I lose, my, bro, if I lose everything in my life right now, I guarantee on everything, I'm going to have peace. I've been there. I've been negative in my bank account. I'm just getting very vulnerable with you. I've been negative. I've been negative. And guess what? I have peace because I have God. If I didn't have God, I would be struggling. I would be stressed. I would be trying to find ways that I can make more money. I will probably been doing things to get more money. <laughs> if you know what I mean. And I ain't talking about something else. Like, get your minds out the gutter. But I'm just saying. I probably have been. That's why so many people got OnlyFans. That's why they doing porn. That's why they doing these things. Because guess what? They need something for fulfillment. They're trying to fill a void that can't get filled by the world. The void can only get filled by God. So women are trying to find a, 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 a thing in men to fill that void. Men are trying to find something in women to fill that void, to fill that insecurity that they have. We need God. We are not gods, Tasha K. We are not gods. Don't, don't consider yourself a god because, sweetheart, you're not a god. You a god, I guarantee you lose everything and, and make it come right back if you're so powerful. Only God can do that. Only God. God, capital G, not child lowercase G, God. No, capital G. And then you say the Bible is filled with contradictions. Whew. I like this comment right here. Y'all see this? What did it say? Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. Let me see. Right, right here. I know this too. Right here. People that know nothing about the Bible always have so much to say about it. You talking about the Bible filled with contradictions. Please name a, name a few contradictions for me that's in the Bible. Because again, like this comment said right here. You must have the Holy Spirit to understand. Because you don't understand, don't say that it's filled with a contradiction. Because it's not. You don't understand the context of it. Everybody want to read the Bible, but without reading in the context. Do we know who God was talking to? What is the theme of the book? Bro, when you want to understand a movie, you don't start. No, no, no. When you want to understand the TV show, why would you start from the middle of the TV show and not the beginning? You won't understand the context. You won't know who the characters are. You won't know who this person said, why this person break up. You wouldn't know nothing because you don't know the context because you're starting from the beginning or you're just jumping around the Bible instead of starting from where it needs to be started at. Now, granted, the Bible is totally different from every other book and every other movie. And I'm sorry, that was a terrible example. But the Bible is different. You know what I'm saying? You can start from the Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. You can start from the Gospels and you can move around in the Bible. You can go to Proverbs, Ecclesiastes. You can go to, to Job. You can go all around the Bible and and you will still come to a, a, a thing where you're going to see the context of it. You're going to see the context of everything. It's certain things that happen in the Old Testament that's in the New Testament. It's things that happen in the New Testament that was prophesied in the Old Testament. So again, Jesus says some, Jesus quoted scriptures from the Old Testament. And sometimes in the Old Testament, it's some things that's already quoted in the New Testament. You see what I'm saying? It's just like a, it's like a, huh, huh, you feel me? The Bible is not filled with contradictions. Everybody that say the Bible filled with contradictions is just, bro, they don't know the word of God. They don't know. They just don't want to know truth. So when they don't want to know truth, of course, they're going to argue the truth. But one thing that I'm going to stop doing and I'm going to stop debating people about the word of God, because guess what? You can never debate the truth. You can never, if you don't know, say you don't know, and we can have a middle ground conversation. But I, it was this one person, he said the best. He said, I don't debate because you cannot debate truth. And that's something I'm going to truly follow in my life. I can't debate you about the truth i can't that's like me that that's literally like you trying to debate somebody that's telling the truth about about their story how are you gonna tell me what happened in my life we're debating about something that happened in my life that i know actually happened and you don't know nothing about it because you don't know you're saying that oh oh this did you this did you this and you that and you this. it's like no bro stop it stop it we can't debate truth we can't we cannot if you don't understand the word of God, ask God to help you understand it. But you have to come to him humbly. You have to come to him with an open heart. Tasha K, you are you are literally just you are so moved by the things of this world. You're moved by your business. You are moved by the, the success that you have. You're moved by these things. You're moved by these things. You're saying that it's proof that we're God. No, it's never it's not no proof. Show me proof that we're God's, please. Please, this is the same people that you're trying to follow. They're still trying to figure out, uh, still trying to figure out how to get out of this, uh, how to get out of this room. Still can't figure out what's below the sea for real because it's so big, bro. God is so creative, bro. We will never be able to figure out all the secrets that he has on this earth. We won't. It don't matter how, how far we dig, how far we go. This world is so big, bro. God is a big God. 
He's a big God. He's everywhere. He's everywhere. I can't be everywhere. If I'm a God, I'm so powerful, then I could be everywhere. I can't be everywhere. I could fly to everywhere, but I'm paying money. If I'm a God, I could just be everywhere. <sighs> Man, I'm out of breath. I'm sorry, y'all. Whew, man, she got my heart racing, bro. My heart, because I look, bro, when it comes to God, I may not know everything, but bro, I promise you, I'm going to always defend the Lord. I'm going to always defend him because guess what? People don't know him and I didn't know him at one point, but I never, I never challenged someone on Jesus. I never challenged someone on what they believe because what they believe is what they believe. We challenge people on, on Jesus, but we never challenge people on Muhammad. We challenge people on Jesus, but we never challenge people on Buddha. We challenge people on Jesus, but we never challenge people that believe that kids should know about the LGBTQ community. So how the freak is we going to challenge Jesus, but we're not challenging everything else? That is sick. That is not truth. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, I forgot. The world that we live in is so sensitive. So the moment you say Jesus, the moment you get canceled. The moment you say kids should know about LGBT, the moment you get canceled. The moment you do something that is right, that's the moment you get canceled. When you do stuff that is wrong, you get applauded for it. The world is so backwards, and this is what the Bible tells us. The Bible said in the last days, and I want to read, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm done after this. I'm going to read this last scripture right here. So right here is 2 Timothy chapter 3, y'all. Right here, I'm I'm gonna just skip down to where it says, but it says they will be uh they will be unloving and unforgiving. This is all in the last days, by the way. They will be unloving and unforgiving. They will slander others and have no self control. They will be cruel and hate what is good. They will be cruel and hate what is good. What is wrong? They will love. They they will love what is wrong, but they will hate what is good. I'm telling you, bro. The, you could say the Bible got contradictions all day long. Please show me a contradiction in the Bible, please. Like I said, I don't know everything, but I know for a fact, I know for a fact that God is not a liar and that he would not contradict his word. What he says, what he says. You know what I'm saying? We, as as followers, we have to understand that, okay, we have to read this stuff in context. We can never read it out of the context that it was placed in. The moment we read it out of context and make it and make it relevant to, to what we wanted to say is the moment that we're just making a word contradict itself in. You see what I'm saying? I hope that makes sense for y'all. But anyways, man, I'm going to go ahead and get off this video. I did not expect the video to be 20 minutes long. But yeah, we going to get off this video, man. Hit the like button, subscribe to the post notifications. Bro, Tasha K, you got me heated, bro. Come on now, bro. I'm sweating. You have me heated, bro. Uh, but yeah, man, hit the like button, subscribe to the post notifications video. But depend, I love each and one of y'all. Subscribe to the second channel. Uh, it's the podcast channel. Follow it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, on all platforms. Well, only two platforms, but you know who who listens to this iHeart Radio and all that stuff. So you know, say hey, it is what it is. So yeah, man. Uh, it's been your boy, depend. I love you. I love you guys. I'm sorry. I love you guys. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.